The beauty of the Solomon Islands lies in the fact that it is a completely natural island. Everything it offers is only the result of our Mother Earth. It is located in the middle of rainforests, an idyllic paradise. Let's find out everything about them before the sea swallows them up, only remaining a distant memory to us all. The Solomon Islands Archipelago is located in the South Pacific Ocean, northeast of Australia. It has a total of 992 islands, but only 347 are inhabited. With a total population of about 640,000 inhabitants, they are among the least populated regions on the planet. The Solomon Islands, while still far from mass tourism, are well known to diving, snorkeling and surfing enthusiasts. The volcanic origin of the archipelago, in fact, offers a unique marine landscape made up of spectacular coral reefs, crystal clear waters and an extraordinary oceanic topography made up of rocky walls and underwater volcanoes, some of which are still active. The fauna and flora are at their maximum capacity. The seas are clear. Their waters host a truly breathtaking world. The animals that live under these crystal clear waters are so many. Their colours contribute to making this an even more magical place. To live in this place of wonder are whales, sharks, sea snakes, fish, sea turtles, all considered sacred by the natives since they are the reincarnation of the dead. The waters of the islands are also very rich in wrecks dating back to the Second World War, apart from the coarse coral and various types of algae. The Solomons in fact boast the second most beautiful coral reef in the world, after that of the Maldives. That is why then this video is to purpose that you visit the Solomon Islands once before the sea swallows up another part and only a memory of it remains. On the mainland instead, you can find animals like crocodiles, lizards, snakes and turtles. The mainland also offers endless opportunities for recreation and discovery, starting with pristine beaches, volcanoes and spectacular lagoons. Without forgetting the tribal villages rich in history and traditions where you can attend ritual dances and the processing of sculptures and artefacts. Guadalcanal is the most important island of the Solomon Islands. It has more than 100,000 inhabitants. It can be reached very well by plane and there is a direct airport. Honiara is the capital of Guadalcanal. Its main feature is the jungle. The jungle provides this capital and makes it fascinating. Despite the grandeur of nature for the small part of the territory, you can visit a museum that contains the beauties of this Malaysian culture. The National Museum and Cultural Centre, small and well maintained, which preserves some artefacts and testimonies of the history of the island, from archaeological finds to weapons, but also ritual ornaments, sculptures, paintings and remnants of the Second World War. Not far away, you arrive at the Central Market, where you can find from fresh fruit to shell necklaces, as well as objects made according to the bookerware technique, including bags, placemats and mats. A walk through Mendana Avenue brings you to the US War Memorial, which dominates the top of the Skyline Ridge, from where you can enjoy a splendid view of the city and the entire island. Heading west on Mendana Avenue up to Bonegi Beach, you will arrive in about 25 minutes by foot at the Vulu War Museum, an open-air museum located in a beautiful garden. Honiara also boasts the most beautiful beaches like Kakabona Beach, Lily Beach and Turtle Beach that absolutely need to take part to your next travel journey to the Solomon Islands. A spectacular experience is the guided excursion to the splendid Mataniko Falls Spectacular Waterfalls, a two-hour walk from Honiara which jumped from the top of a precipice to a cave used during the war as a refuge by the Japanese. The tourist jewel of the Solomon Islands is constituted by the Western Province, a natural wonder of tropical islets, pristine lagoons, crystal clear waters lapped by tongues of white sand and lush vegetation. The first stop is the island of Gizo, which can be reached from Honiara by plane. Here is Gizo, the second largest city of the Solomons after the capital. The name suggests the passage of the Japanese who used it as a military base for seaplanes. On the south coast, six kilometres from the city, near the village of Palongi, is one of the spots with the most spectacular waves of the Solomons and indeed much loved by surfers. 
The second natural jewel of the Western Province is New Georgia Island and its satellite islands. Just where the lagoons of Vonavona and Roviana meet, the city of Munda rises, the largest inhabited centre on the island. Among the sights not to be missed, there are the Holopuro Falls, a 10 metre waterfall located just outside Munda, where you can also bathe in the pool of clear water formed by the same falls. Oh and guys, at the end of the video, please don't forget to pop in the comments section below and add another spectacular experience to the list for whomever is organising the next travel journey to the Solomon Islands. Located in eastern New Georgia, the Maravo Lagoon is considered to be the most beautiful lagoon in the world. Bordered by the islands of New Georgia and Van Annam, it is enclosed by a double line of islands covered with palm trees and rainforests, while the coral reef is among the most beautiful on the planet, famous for its presence of peaceful black sharks. Another island which the peculiarity are sharks is Orkey. Orkey is located on the island of Malaita and is recommended for all those who intend to visit these initial and original places in all their glory. There is also the old capital that deserves a visit. It is another heavenly place of the Solomon Islands, invaded by the sea, that invites you like nowhere else to dive in, to feel its clean and splendid waters. Adventure lovers cannot miss a visit to Skull Island, an almost fairy tale like place that preserves the skulls of warriors defeated by headhunters and a shrine where the mortal remains of the tribal chiefs are kept. Before we get to know the best time to go to the Solomon Islands, depending on the minimum and maximum temperatures, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. It is necessary to know to take into account that in the Solomon Islands, the climate is tropical humid. Humidity therefore pervades this territory, with a temperature that reaches 27 to 30 degrees Celsius of maximum temperature, 22 to 23 Celsius of minimum temperature, almost entirely for the whole year. Visiting the Solomon Islands is recommended from November to April. At this time of the year, the climate is at the right temperature. You are able to travel and explore these lands in the best possible way, but you should know that there is a possibility that in these months, they can generate storms. Since also the magnificent Maldives might disappear underwater, go check out this latest video on your another travel journey to absolutely add to the list.